We're here uh, coming to you from 303 East Cleveland. Yes, I did not say Sycamore Street, but Sycamore Street is here because we are the church. So I'm happy to welcome you into this place. We trust that you are around the table with your family. We're going to give you plenty enough time to come in. This is only 1054, so we're going to give everybody ample enough opportunity to be able to come in. We're trying new technology, so we want to make sure everybody can come in. So we're going to give that opportunity for you to do just that. So come on in uh, the room or come on into the sanctuary. Come on in as it relates to being prepared to join your brothers and sisters so that we can worship God in spirit and in truth. God bless you. We're coming on again live this morning. So we want you to share, like it, and share. Whether you're coming on YouTube, we should be on Facebook as well. YouTube and Facebook. So God bless you for being on this morning. Amen. Amen. So we're going to wait on some of you all to come on board. Before we get started, I'm going to ask that uh, at the same token that some of us join in and sing praises unto God because God has been good unto us. I once was lost in sin, but Jesus took me in. Lord, and did a little light from heaven feel my soul. Let me tell you, it made my heart in love and wrote my name up above. Lord, and just a little talk with Jesus makes me whole here. And now let us have a little talk with Jesus. Why don't you tell him all about your struggles? God will hear I thank his cry. He will answer mine. And now when you feel a little prayerful as your heart unto heaven is turned, you will find a little talk with Jesus makes it right. Oh Lord, I may have a doubt in my heart, but these old eyes get to feel with. That's all right, cause Jesus is a friend. He'll watch me day and night. Oh Lord, I go to him in prayer. Lord, he knows my every care. Lord, and just a little talk with Jesus makes it right. Hey, but now let us have a little talk with Jesus. Why don't you tell him all about your struggles? God will hear. Praise the Lord. He's going to answer when you feel a little prayerful here as your heart unto your hand. Good morning, Sister Sir Sandra. Find a little talk with Jesus makes it right. He will make it all right. All right. All right. All right. Let us have a little talk with us. He'll make it right. Late in the midnight hour, he'll make it all right. All right. All right. All right. Let us have a little talk with Jesus makes it right. And now let us have a little talk with Jesus. Why don't you tell him all about your struggles? He will give. Oh, praise the Lord. He's going to answer by and by. Now when you feel a little prayerful as your heart unto heaven is turned, you are going to find if you try, you'll find. One more time, let me hear you. God will make it all right, all right, all right, yes, all right. Let us have a little talk. Good morning, Sister Hughes. I see you out there. Hey, God will make it all right, all right, all right, all right. Let us have a little talk with Jesus. Thanks. He'll make it. God bless you on this morning. We trust that you have some Jesus joy down on the inside of your heart. And if you do, uh, we know that you can share it. You can be a light to the world, as the Bible says. A city set on a hill that cannot be hid. We trust that everybody is finding their way. Those of you all who have joined us by internet, 
I ask that you, some of you all, at least one of you all, Sister Sir Sandra, uh, one of you all who are technically savvy, would you go over and check the YouTube page uh, for Nala? I don't know if we are, it seems like we're coming on live, but I don't know if it pops off. We're on, we're live on YouTube. Okay, good. We're live on YouTube and some people are there. Sister Washington should be our commentator this morning. I just want to share with you, God is good. God is good. Not some of the time, but all the time. And all the time, God is good. We have not uh, yet begun as we will begin our regular worship service. But I, we just wanted to give people enough time to come into the room. So take your time now to share this. Share it with someone else. Make sure you have your communion ready because we're going to commune one with another. Uh, we thank God for this opportunity. This is an opportunity in a day that we've never seen before. We're not going to let COVID-19 rule the day. We're still going to give glory, honor, and praise unto God because he's better to us than we have been to ourselves. Right. I am going to need some type of uh, 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 Brother Clark. If you don't mind, come and greet uh, the Christians that are all around. Bring your microphone if you would. We're practicing social distancing and we're doing everything we need to do. I'm going to need to find my plug. I need to find another plug. I think I'll go find that while Brother Clark greets everybody and says a word of hello, maybe a general prayer before we get started. But again, I want to welcome you, but take time to share this. Everybody who has a Facebook page or a YouTube page, or rather a Facebook page for sure, you should be sharing with somebody else. God bless you. Good morning. Good morning. We are happy to have you with us this morning on this Resurrection Sunday. Amen. We are here to give praise and thanks to God because we know that if Christ had not died and been raised from the dead, there would be no hope for us today. All right. We thank you for joining us just because we have COVID-19 does not mean that we are released of our obligation and duty to praise God. Amen. And we need to be thankful each and every minute of each and every day that God has shown mercy and grace towards us. And we thank God for sending his son into the world so that all of us could have a right to the tree of life. Because if Jesus had not come, we would be a people without hope. All right. um, please sit back and relax, join in the worship service, sing along with us at home, and give praise to God Almighty. Amen. We welcome you, and we will be doing this each and every Sunday until uh, the word is given that it is safe for us to gather back at the church building. But we are the church. Amen. And we need to stay connected. Yes. Not only with each other, but with God. Amen. Brother Green. We thank God this morning. For those of you all who have already joined us, I'm going to go back to see we have two people on, two people on the phone line this morning, uh, and we thank God for them. You all, I cannot hear you, but I hope that you can hear me. Uh, this morning, we're having some problems and difficulties with my uh, the hearing piece, so I'm going to just allow you all to be on, so make sure that you are listening to everybody who's out there. Uh, Brother Hughes on the airwaves, God bless you. Sister Cotton, I see you. Um, Verdell Hawkins, uh, Arika Thomas, God bless all of you all. Derek Davis, my neighbor, God bless you from back in the day. Good to see everybody. Sister Keys, Brother Andrews, uh, all the way from, uh, uh, from, from the Miss Lou area. God bless each and every one of you all. So I just want to tell you today, we're going to worship God in spirit and in truth. And we're so thankful that you are around. You can feel free to take a little selfie or something before it's over and send it to me. We're going to post it. Y'all know I already went first, Sycamore family. And we just welcome not only our Sycamore family, but everybody who has joined with us on today. 
We're going to have our words on the board. I want to say a special thank you to my family. The first lady has been manning the camera. She's been doing a masterful job. And Nala, in particular, she's been doing a masterful job making sure all of our technology works properly. And also Michelle, who's been helping and been invaluable behind the scenes. So God bless everybody who's made this day possible. Rosetta Washington is manning our YouTube page. And Brother uh, James Hughes is on our Facebook page. Make sure that you share this. Use your share button. And that's something that you can do to invite other people on. You're not going to force them, but at least share it to your page. You can delete it later, but make sure you share it now so that other people will know that we are on the line. So let us, uh, we'll come back later. Uh, I'll share with you some more of our announcements, but we thank God for those who have been supporting our food pantry. We want to challenge each and every one of you all to also to continue to give. Give to the Lord. The Lord has still been waking you up every morning. And as long as you've been prospering, we need to be uh, supporting the work of the church. So we thank God for those who have sent your offering today and those who will be giving online via Cash App or PayPal using our uh, website that we have. We'll talk more about that later. God bless all of our people who have within our congregation um, uh, birthdays and anniversaries. We want to pray for our sick. We're so thankful that Sister Shaw has made it home. Uh, and I can almost hear her. Uh, I can almost but hear her now saying, oh, yeah. I can hear her now. So we want to give praise, glory, and honor to God because he's been so good. And I'm going to uh, pause for one, just one, one minute. Sing with me. I have one correction that we need to make regarding our technology. God has, sing with me. He smiled on me, my Lord, and he has set me free. Yeah. 
lift him up and magnify the Lord and worship him. So forget about yourself. So forget about yourself and magnify him. Magnify the Lord. Worship him. So forget about yourself. So forget about yourself and magnify him. Magnify the Lord and worship him. Oh, 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 oh. Jesus Christ, sing a Jesus Christ. where you are. Put your hands together and praise God. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all ye land. Come on, say it out loud. Say, God has been good. good. Come on, let me hear you even in this room and at home. Say, God is great. God is great. Yeah, we got to lift up the praise. Let me see some thumbs up out there. Let me see some hearts out there if you love the Lord. Yes, 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 yes. I can't hear those who are on the line, on the phone line, but I pray that you're praising him wherever you are. Right now, during the COVID time, we need some prayer. We need to pray now more than ever. I had a video of dogs barking at each other. And um, it was two dogs. And neither one of them wanted to have the other dog have the last say. So they kept barking at each other. They kept going on and on and on. It's amazing what happens. There's some good things that need to happen now that we're alone. We should be getting closer to God. Amen. And what, since the time has slowed down in some senses for us, we need to be reading God's word more. But sometimes we find ourselves yielding to the enemy and what the devil wants us to do. And that is to fight each other instead of drawing nearer to the Lord. All right. We have some problems going on. There are some 18-wheeler trailers being parked in different cities all around this country, my Lord, because of deaths and no places to put people. All right. We need some prayer. Amen. Sing with me this morning. Don't forget the family prayer. My Lord Jesus going to meet me and you right there. there. Yes, it can help us in a time of 
hands together and praise God on today. Family prayer. I welcome the Turners into this broadcast. God bless all of you all who are here on today. God is good. He's worthy of our praise. Greater is he that's within me than he that's within the world. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Our scripture reading this morning is taken from Matthew chapter 28, verses 1 through 10 and 16 through 20. Matthew chapter 28, verses 1 through 10 and 16 through 20. The Bible reads as follows. Now after the Sabbath, as the first day of the week began to dawn, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary came to see the tomb. And behold, there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone from the door and sat on it. His countenance was like lightning and his clothing as white as snow. And the gods shook for fear of him and became like dead men. But the angel answered and said to the women, do not be afraid, for I know that you seek Jesus who was crucified. He is not here, for he is risen, as he said, come, See the place where the Lord lay. And go quickly and tell his disciple that he is risen from the dead. And indeed, he is going, to, going, going before you into Galilee. There you will see him. Behold, I have told you. So they went out quickly from the tomb with fear and great joy. And ran to bring his disciple word. And as they went to tell his disciples, behold, Jesus met them saying, rejoice. So they came and held him by the feet and worshiped him. Then Jesus said to them, do not be afraid. Go and tell my brethren to go to Galilee and there they will see me. Verse 16 through 20. Then the eleven disciples went away into Galilee to the mountain which Jesus had appointed for them. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and spoke to them, saying, All authority has been given to me in heaven and in earth. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Amen. Amen. May Lord add a blessing to the reading and hearing of his word. Shall we go to the Lord in prayer? Our Father in heaven, we come this morning acknowledging that you are all powerful and that you have all power in heaven and earth in your hand. Father, this morning we come thanking you for sending your son into the world to die cruel and painful deaths on the cross that we might have a right to the tree of life through yes. obedience of your word. Yes. Father, we just thank you for this day, for this opportunity to worship and praise you yes. and give you the acknowledgement that you deserve. Yes. Father, we come at a time when we are 
in perilous times here on earth. Father, we know that you have all power in your hand and that, it, and that everything that happens is in your will. Father, we want to come this morning and thank you for our governmental leaders. We pray, Father, that you would give them the wisdom to lead and guide us through these times. We thank you, Father, for the first responders who are tirelessly caring for those who are sick. But we come, Father, acknowledging that you have all power and that you are the doctor of all doctors. Father, we thank you for your grace and mercy. And Father, we pray for those who are sick. We pray, Father, that you would heal them if it be within your will. Father, we thank you for our fellow citizens who are following the rules that have been set by our leaders, our governmental leaders, so that we can do what we can to assist in getting rid of this virus. Father, we thank you for the members of the church not only here at Greenwood, but members of the church around the world, Father. We pray, Father, that you would continue to bless us, keep us, protect us from all hurt, harm, and danger. And specifically, Lord, we pray for the members of Sycamore Street Church of Christ. We pray for them individually, and we pray for the church collectively. We pray, Father, that you would give us strength courage and the endurance to run this race until the end in a manner that is pleasing and acceptable to you. Father, we pray for those sick members of the congregation. We pray, Father, that if it be your will that you will heal them so that they can return and participate in our praises unto you. Yes. Father, we thank you for this opportunity for this day in particular. Because Father, this is the day that has been set aside as the day to acknowledge our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and his rising from the grave. Yes. Father, we just thank you, thank you that you allowed him to come down from heaven and die on our behalf so that we would have a way back to you, Father. Father, we thank you for our families, for uh, all, that, all the people that we love. We thank you, Father, for protecting all of us. And Father, we ask forgiveness for all of our sins, both those that are known and unknown. Father, we just thank you for being God and being merciful and giving us grace. Father, I pray this prayer in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless you all on today. We trust that you were encouraged by that prayer. Amen. Amen. God is good. All the time. Let us sing this song together, and I have to apologize. We, we did not have the people on, on the phone line, but they just came on. Were you all able to hear earlier on the phone line? Maybe not. But I'm just thankful that you all are back on. And so I'm not going to be able to check on our YouTube folk. But I'm, I am going to stick with you all to make sure I don't lose you all again. So y'all just hang in there. Thank you for your patience. All right. So we're going to sing the song that I think that everybody knows. We're going to uh, do this song uh, before I speak a word into your heart on today. Uh, we're going to sing. He's got the whole world in his hand. But before we do. I want you to take time. Now, we're not social distancing in the house. Maybe some of us are. But I want you to tell somebody something positive that God has done for you. Or just say that you are thankful to God, maybe for somebody else in your house. We've been barking, some of us, at each other. I want you to say I love you. I want you to look in somebody else's eyes in your family. Tell them you love them. Tell them you appreciate them. Uh, tell them that you're thankful that God has given them to you. Do that right now. If you're on the phone, do the same thing. Do that right now. Do it now. 
I don't hear y'all talking on the phone. I don't hear y'all talking in my house. I don't hear y'all talking. Come on, y'all. Say something. Say something. Brother Clark, appreciate you. Love you. All right, Brother Sanders, Sister Green, Dollar Michelle. Y'all not saying anything back. Come on, y'all. You got to say something to the preacher back. Yeah. Thank you, Sister Kelly. Wonderful. God bless you. Thank you. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We appreciate all of you all. I think that was Coach that was speaking. I'm not sure, but thank all of you all. Let's sing together. If you've already done that with your neighbor, let's sing together. He's got the whole world in his hand. 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 I know he's got the whole world. I see two in the house. He's got the whole world in his hand. He's got the whole world in his hand. Coach, this was for you. Whole world in his hand. I know he's got my mother and my father in his hand. He's got my mother and my father in his hand. He's got my mother and my father in his hand. He's got the whole world in his hand. I know he's got the little bitty baby in his hand. He's got the little bitty baby in his hand. He's got the little bitty baby in his hand. He's got the whole world in his hand. Everybody, oh, he's got a everybody in his hand. He's got everybody. Get the sermon together. In his hand, he's got everybody in his hand. He's got the whole world in his hand. I know he's got the whole world in his hand. 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 God bless you on the day for being here. God bless you. Come on, repeat after me. Say rise. rise. Come on, say it again. Rise. rise. Oh, today we're going to be uh, examining lessons from the tomb. Lessons from from the tomb with the theme of rise. We're going to be looking at each one of the passages, not in particular, but you can look back at the resurrection story from each of the accounts that, that has been listed in Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, and even others, but those in particular as it relates to the specific accounts that we are left to see what happened immediately following of Jesus' victorious resurrection from the dead. Thank God that he lives. Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Right. Because he lives, all fear is gone. I'm thankful today that God is on the throne. Amen? Amen. Amen. And praise God. So let us go straight to the reading of the word in Matthew chapter 28. We're going to look at Matthew's account in Matthew chapter 28. It was already read in your hearing. But I want us to read for emphasis purpose. If we can put that on the board, we're going to drop down to verse number six. Verse number six says, he is not what? Here. Here for he has what? Risen. Risen. All right. I want to say that again. He is not here for he has risen. And he said, come see the place where he Lay. Let's go back to the beginning for emphasis purposes. So we won't we won't read the whole thing again, but we're gonna go ahead and read all the way through it. Now, after the Sabbath, toward the dawn of the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to see the tomb. There you go, stay stay still, baby. And behold, there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning, and his clothes was white. His clothing, rather, was white as snow. And for fear of him, the guards trembled and became as or like dead men. But the angel said to the woman, or the women, do not be afraid, for I know that you seek Jesus who was crucified. Emphasis verse right here. He is not here, for he has risen. 
And he said, come and see the place where he lay. The Bible continues to go on and say, then go quickly and tell his disciples that he is risen from the dead. And behold, he is going, what to all? Before you to Galilee. There you will what? See him. See him. See, I have told you. Verse number eight says, so they departed quickly from the tomb with fear and great joy and ran to tell his disciples. And behold, Jesus met them and said, greetings. And they, they came and took hold of his feet and worshiped him. Then Jesus said to them, do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go where? To yeah. Galilee. And there they will see me. Let's drop down now to the ending of that chapter. The, the Bible says now, then verse number 16, now the 11 disciples went to Galilee to the mountain to which Jesus had directed them. Verse number 17 says, and so they went, uh, and when they saw them, they worshiped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and said to them, all authority is given uh, in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all what I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you to the end of the age. God bless uh, you and God bless the Lord and the reading and the hearers and doers of his word. Amen. So we're going to say rise. We can all rise higher today. All of us need to be going to a higher place on today. We don't need to be secure where we are. We need to be pushing and striving and doing everything that we can so that we can be the people that God would have us to be. Amen? Amen. God has done so much for us. We need to present our bodies as a living sacrifice unto him. Amen? He's been so good to each and every one of us us. Now, this picture is powerful to me. Um, uh, first lady, I want you to go back over there and help with that, would you please? Let's go back to that first, uh, the very first slide. That picture is a picture of me over in Jerusalem. I had the wonderful opportunity to go to, to Israel and to see Jerusalem and see all of the many sites. I got a chance to see so many places. I got a chance to see where fights occurred. I got a chance to, to, to go and float on the Dead Sea. And be able to do many things that many people would love to see. I got a chance to look over where in the Garden of Gethsemane where he prayed. But one of the highlights was being able to go where they said that he rose from the dead. And there was a picture right behind my face that said, he is not here for he is risen. We have to understand, even on today as we celebrate as a nation, the resurrection of Jesus Christ. We got to understand that there is power in the fact that he lives. Because he lives, we can face tomorrow. Because he lives, all fear is gone. Because he lives, we're going to make it through this coronavirus and this COVID-19 problem that is plaguing all of our lives on today. Man. Because we live, we're going to make it even though we may not have a job right now. Because he lives, everything is going to be all right. all right. Doesn't matter what happens. Even if death comes knocking at our door, we understand that all things work together for the good of them that love the Lord. So let's go back down to those three points that we're going to focus on even on today. The three points is that we're going to look at this. Failure is not final. Say that. Failure is not final. Amen. The second point that I want to look at is stay connected with Christ. Say that. Stay connected with Christ. And finally, I want to say be a man on a mission. Say that. Be a man on a on a mission. Now that's a man or a woman. I'm talking about mankind here. So I want Sister Green looking at me funny over there. Be a man, or definitely Sister Clark, I can feel her looking at me. No, be a man on a mission. Let's make sure that we are people that are focused on what God would have us to be focused on. Okay, so let's look at that first point. Failure is not final. We have to understand because Jesus Christ, because when they went to the tomb, the Bible says in the verses right under this slide, the Bible says he is not here for he is risen. Because he is risen, uh, whatever we go through, Jesus has paid the price so that we don't have to suffer the way he suffered. We don't have to go through what he went through per se. We can't even bear the cross that he, he bore for us. We can't even have salvation on our own. It's all in the power of him getting up out of the grave. Because he got up out of the grave, then we don't have to worry about living a life condemned by the sin that falls.
impose on us. We can be washed away by the blood of Jesus Christ. Thank God for the blood of Jesus Christ. Yeah. And because he lives and because he paid that price, our failures are not final. Amen. Some of us have given up on being a Christian and living the Christian life. Some of you all are even tuned in now that are not normally tuned in because some of us, for whatever reason, we're not going to the church house because we're concerned about how people are gonna look at us. I have no heaven or hell to put you in. Nobody else does. All of us, the Bible says, have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Hallelujah. Amen. And because we've sinned, we all need the blood of Jesus Christ. That's right. Amen. Jesus is perfect, and because of the blood of Jesus Christ, everything is going to be all right. The failures that we have, the setbacks that we have, are not final. We can go to our Heavenly Father and know that He hears our cries, and know that the blood of Jesus Christ will continually cleanse our sins. I don't know about you, but that's shouting good news to me on this morning. Amen. My shortcomings don't define me. My circumstances don't define me. My failures don't define me. When God looks at me, he doesn't see my past. He sees my future. He sees the sacrifice that his son, Jesus Christ, gave for you and me. I'm thankful about that on today. Amen. So we can come boldly before the throne of grace, knowing that we will see mercy. Why? Because of the blood, not because of what you did. Not because you've lived so uh, wonderful. Not because you've done everything, got all the I's and crossed all the teeth. Thank God that he paid the price. I don't know about you, but I'm thankful. If anybody else has picked up your bill before, you understand what I mean. Sometimes if you've ever been in life and could not pay something that you had to owe, and that, that, that brother you owed, and somebody took up the slack for you, what a blessing. Jesus paid it all for us. The second point I want to look at today is stay connected with Christ. Stay connected. Uh, this phone, uh, I left a little earlier in the, in, in, in the service today. I left a little earlier. Why? Because I looked down on my phone and I saw that it was getting a little low. Just like you're looking on that picture and you may see that uh, this is a familiar uh, uh, view for some of those who, who have the Apple. I don't know about the Android. Now, I can't speak for that, but I can speak about the Apple. Now, with the Apple phone, you have that signal to let you know that the power is low. And unless you plug into the source of strength, you're going to die. And I would challenge us today. We find strength in the empty tomb of Jesus Christ. We have to connect with him. Amen. 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 We have to find ourselves being connected. The verse says, he is going before you to Galilee, there you will see him. That's okay. There you will see him. It says in verse number nine, and they came and took hold of his feet and worshiped him. And he said, don't be afraid. We have to understand as a church, we need, because of this COVID-19, we've been driven outside of the church house. Amen. And to some degree, that is not the worst thing in the world that could have happened. We need to leave where we are. Some of us have gotten saved within the church, praise God. But we parked on the seat and on the pew and refused to go out and do personal work. We refused to, to be a witness in our communities. We refused to go out and share the good news of Jesus Christ. But I want to challenge you, he did not get up out of the grave so we can stay put. He got up out of the grave so that we can go. Amen. That's right. Amen. So God is telling us to connect. Connect. Before you can be a blessing to somebody else, you got to connect with Jesus Christ yourself. You see, it's amazing. Some of us are having problems. Some of us have said, Brother Clark, some of us have said, we've said, look, if I, if, if I ever get some time, I'm going to do this, that, and the other. And some of us, we've gotten a whole lot of time and we're still not doing it. Guess what? The problem is not the time. The problem is us. And as long as we're living, we will find that the Bible says man born of woman is but a few days and is full of trouble. The only solution is Jesus Christ. Amen. Some of us are plugged in to HBO, amen. Some of us are plugged into Netflix. Some of us are plugged into CNN. Some of us are plugged into other things. There's nothing wrong with those things. But what we have to understand is that our true source comes from Jesus Christ. Amen. 
And he's saying, come to me, all you who are labor, who, who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Come to me. Come to me. There is power. I can give you strength. I can give you courage to go home. Jesus didn't go back before he sucked, before he got with his disciples, before he had relationships, but before he, he, he got a chance to mingle with him. He said, I want you to see me. I want to talk to you. Jesus wants to spend time with us. Are you spending time with him? Is he having to chase you down? Are you seeking the Lord? Even now, now that everything is slowing down, are you taking time to put him first in your life? Connect with the Savior. Get plugged in. Say that with me. Get plugged in. Get plugged, get plugged in. in. I don't care what your age is. Get plugged in. And finally, I want to challenge us before I go to my seat. Be a man on a mission. Be a man and a woman on a mission. I want us to get focused. The Bible tells us again, that he gives us a commission in verse number 19. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things I have commanded you. So I'm going to challenge us. I thank God that Michaela put the Lord on in baptism on yesterday. Yeah, Sister Linda Bell's granddaughter. Praise God. Oh, she's a, she's a bright, smart, sharp young lady and she wanted to come in even early but we wanted to make sure that she was ready and she knows the difference between right and wrong and she's come and I want to challenge us that we need to be on our mission and journey young folks be on your mission and journey your mission means why do you exist uh, God has given us a mission be a man, be a woman on a mission. Understand, let's put first things first. I've given you all that illustration before. The scientists who wanted to teach his children a lesson about time management and doing the things that you have to do, putting first things first. They had a beaker in a science class, a beaker, just a clear uh, uh, bowl, if you will. And, and beside, it had uh, rocks, big rocks, small pebbles, sand, and water, big rocks. Uh, little rocks or pebbles, sand, and water. And so the question was, which order do you have to put them in to get every, to make everything fit and make everything go right? And some said water first, some said sand first. But what we understand just by the mere fact of nature, you if you only have a certain amount of space, you have to pick the, put the big rocks in first. The pebbles will go in between those. And then the sand can come in between those. And then ultimately the water can come down and wash through. I want to challenge you to be a person on a mission. Amen. He said, look, follow me. Seek first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness and all these things will be added unto you. Learn how to seek after the Lord first. Put the Lord first place in your life. You may say, well, I'm at home. How can I put the Lord first? By praying to him. Amen. Amen. Get connected by, by singing out, singing praises to the Lord. You can connect with the Lord now. Amen. Uh, spending time by yourself. That's the problem. You're spending too much time with your family members. Get off to yourself somewhere. And maybe you will find that God can work through you in a new and a more powerful way. Amen. Amen. Be still and know that God is God. Some of us are scared to be by ourselves. We can learn something. When we, when we get a hold of Jesus and we start doing what God has told us to do, we walk by faith and not by sight. Amen, somebody. Amen. God is calling us to be a people on a mission. Let's now, even though the dirt church doors have closed, let us renew our vigor. Let us do whatever we can to be a vehicle that God can use. Amen. Amen. And when he does that, he's going to get the praise in all of the glory. God is standing at the door. Jesus is standing at the door and he's knocking. And he, he wants us to learn some lessons today from the tomb. We need to learn that number one, he's not, he's not here anymore. He said, why seek ye the living among the dead? That's good, that's good. Right? Don't seek, don't, 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 don't go to the place of the dead. You need to live, get out there and live. Do what he's calling you to do. And basically what he wants you to do is just follow him. Follow me. So I want to give you an invitation today. If you need prayer, I want you to start typing those prayer requests in right now. Type those prayer requests in. If you need Jesus, if you need to get reunited, 
to the church. I want you to do that. Type it in. I want to I want to rededicate. I want to rededicate. Type that in. I want to rededicate. Do it now. Don't let the devil get in your way. I don't want to type. People may see what I'm typing. If you're ashamed of Jesus, he'll say he'll be ashamed of you. Come to the Lord. Come to the Lord. Come to the Lord even right now. Amen. The Bible says he will save you. The song says he will save you. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus even right now. Let's see any of those that we have. Any of those that we have. We don't want to lose the feet, so I wouldn't even worry about that. Uh, just come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. And somebody, uh, we'll have to get those messages some kind of way. But I see some already. I see some prayer requests already. Amen. Amen. I see some prayer requests. We're going to sing a verse over here, but I'm going to come back to these prayer requests. And if you want to rededicate, you can rededicate. If you want to come to the Lord now, I have a good N95 uh, mass. We'll take you under the water. Amen. You can come to the Lord today. If now is not a good time, when is a good time? Come to the Lord. I want to, I want to make sure that you know that you can come to the Lord. Just type in, I want to, I want to be a, become a member. Type in, I want to become a member. Type in, I want to be rededicated. Some, some of you all are members, but you straight away say, I want to be rededicated. You may even be outside of this city. But right now, we are worshiping uh, via the internet. If you want to be rededicated, we'll help you. We'll work with you and get you rededicated with us or with someone else. It doesn't matter. Your soul salvation is what matters today, amen? You need to be connected. You need to be connected. Come and go to that land you ought to come and go to that land you ought to come and go to that land oh yes where I'm bound oh Lord come and go to that land come and go to that land oh yes come and go to that land oh yes where I'm bound there is love in that land. There is love in that land. Oh yes, there is love in that land, my Lord, of where I'm bound. Oh, there is love in that land. There is love in that land. Oh Lord, there is love in that land. Oh, where I'm Jesus is there in that land, my Jesus is there in that land, oh Lord, Jesus is there in that land, oh Lord, where I bow, oh yes, Jesus is there in that land, Jesus is there in that land, oh Lord, Jesus is there in that land, where I you. I don't see all of the prayer requests on YouTube, but I am able to see a little more clearly on um, on Facebook. Sister Perkins, I do see. Yes. Christian, we ask that you protect her and cover her 
those families who are, are, are Sister Sandra says, those prayer, uh, those families who are, have already been affected in bereaving their loved ones, the bereaved families who lost their fam uh, family members to COVID-19. Father, we ask that you give them courage, even as they going through some of these things, even alone and isolated. Let them know that you never leave them and you'll never forsake them. Bless all of those who have asked for prayer. Sister Perkins, Brother Trené is away from us. <clears throat> Feel him, Father, with your power. Brother Wallace and the Washington family, keep them. Sister Irma Dale and the Keys family, bless all of them and the essential workers. Bless them and keep them. Bless us all. In Jesus' name, amen. Any, any other prayer requests? Get those down. Give me just a moment, you Okay, you're, I don't see those. Did you, could you write those down? Write those down, and we're gonna come back. We have a few other prayer requests, and we're gonna come back. I left your pen. You have it. And so we're gonna come back to those prayer requests as we finish. Uh, we want to ask you all, those who are able, uh, if the Lord has been blessing you, we ask that you give on today. There is a slide that deals with the giving. We ask that you put that up very quickly. Michelle, would you please put the slide up, please, for giving. We ask that you stay with us. Michelle is 10 years old, and I thank God for her Amen. being able to uh, do her best to stay on with us. You were there, sweetheart. You have to go back to where you were. Go back to the beginning, if you will. And we're thankful uh, that God has given us everything that we have. We just ask that you stay uh, uh, being faithful to the church. God has been faithful to you. The word has been coming forth every day during the week. Yeah. And even on the weekends and Wednesday night. And we're here to pray for you, work with you. We need to be gearing up as a Sycamore family. So even when this comes out, we're going to be ready to do even more. So we, you can give through PayPal, SycamoreStreetCoc.org. Cash out by dollar sign Sycamore Street. And you can mail even to my address. But make sure that you make your checks out to Sycamore Street. Church of Christ. Okay, that's 303 East Cleveland in Greenwood, Mississippi. God bless each and every one of you all as you give, as God has prospered you. Hasn't he been good? Yeah. I'm standing right now in my hands, or within my hands with uh, offerings that were sent. We're thankful for those. Uh, Brother Chris, Sister Cassie Carter, Sister Sharon, and others who have given. And we ask that God uh, bless those um, who will be given even online as we speak. We know that God has given us everything that we have. Let's sing one verse. Everything I have, don't you know God gave it to me, Lord. Everything I have, yeah, God. Everything I have, oh, Lord. God gave it to me. He put the shoes on my feet. God put the clothes on my back. He put the food Lord, hey, I know my God is able to yeah, everything I have. Lord, for the God gave to me. God bless you. If you have your offering still at the home, at the house, please raise it up. Or even if you have your phone that you are giving by, I ask that you raise it up symbolically and pray with me. Father God, we ask that you bless this offering. Multiply it. We know some are needing a special blessing right now. We ask that you meet their need, and we ask that you give them courage to even sow during a time such as this. Where they may be careful and trying to do other things and stock up, we ask that you be stock up even in faith right now. That we never let our faith go weak. And we stand up right now and show the Lord that we're ready to give and to support the work of the Lord. And that we love him. And that we're going to support his work and those who to labor in the vineyard. Bless all who give in Jesus' name. Each and every one of you all who have given. Or today as the Bible has taught us how to give. And now we want to make sure you should have your communion out. If you don't, would you please take it out? And for those of you who don't have it, if you have your crackers, you can do this. And or grape juice. Um, we can make sure that we do, do the best that you can. Um, we can go to another Jones slide. Um, and just um, make sure that we know that Jesus died for our sins. And that's what we're celebrating today, his death, burial, and his resurrection. Um, yes, you can put it on the main slide if you want, but we're going to celebrate his death, burial, and resurrection. 
He gave his, uh, his body and he shed his blood. The Bible says that every first day of the week that we are to come together and we are to remember what he did for us. And because he lives, we can face tomorrow. Because he lives, all fear is gone. So let us make sure that we take it, knowing that there's power in the blood of Jesus Christ. Pray with me if you would. Father God, we thank you for those who have given gifts and sacrifice and worship, not only with their mouth, but they worship you by giving a sacrifice of what has come in, that what you've given them, they've returned it unto you. And Father God, we ask that you bless those even right now who are taking of the loaf and the fruit of the vine and remembering your death, burial, and resurrection. We ask that you uh, remind us just how strong you are in us. Help us to go out and be a, a man and a women and children on a mission. Help us to connect with you better daily. And help us to know that even our failures are not final and that you forgive us as we partake of this. In Jesus' name, amen. You may partake of it. As you all take it, please make sure, if you don't have communion at your home, please make sure that you text me or inbox me or message me on Facebook, and I'll make sure that we put something in the mail to you if you're not in this area. And or, if you're in this area, feel free to come by the house, or we'll meet you at the church, whatever we need to do to make sure that you have communion at your home. We'll try to give it out for a few weeks at a time, so we won't have to come back every week because we're on lockdown right now. We're gonna pray for our officials and leading officials, those who are on the front line, we pray that God be with us and continue to bless us. Thank God for all of you all who have stayed with us. We just thank God for those who have joined us from outside of the Greenwood and the Fort area. God bless all of you all who have done that. God bless all of you all who have come on. Family, uh, you know, we, have, we weren't able to see each other today. Uh, literally, you were able to see me. But I just thank God for all of you all who have participated today. Take a picture. You don't, you don't have to have a Sunday frock on if you would like me. Just take a picture of you all being together. Send it to me, and we're going to let James put them up on the website or on our, uh, we can put them up on our COC page. And we just encourage you to keep, stay on the Lord's side. Thank God for Michaela and those who are uh, looking. We pray that the water continues to be troubled. She had the uh, manna in the morning. Uh, we come on every morning at 7 a.m. Now, if you're the horns, that means 12 p.m. And just share whatever you get on. <laughs> Amen. So do a watch party. And we thank God, we trust that they have gotten on with us. I don't know about Brother Cross. We'll have to find out if he got on this morning. Uh, we just pray, God, for all of our seniors, that they've been taken care of well on today. Uh, we just thank God for them. And we thank God for all of our members. We love you. Anybody have anything they need to tell me before we get off the line on today? If so, you can always get back, uh, as they say, at me. Uh, Derek Simpson, we, we're praying for you, Brother uh, 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 Derek Simpson. Amen. Uh, we see some of our family and friends even in our community. Marketplace is one of our partners. They, they stand with us as we uh, minister in the community. God bless Marketplace. Uh, we just thank God even for the wisdom. We know that Sister House works for, uh, 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 Cassidy works for the Marketplace. We know that Sister House is over at uh, Walmart. We love Walmart as well, but we have a special relationship with the Marketplace. And so we thank God for, uh, for Derek Simpson and all of those who work with him. We just, we're gonna continue to pray over there over you all. We pr I pray on that site whether you know it or not, and I'm going to continue to pray for each and every one of you all over at the marketplace. They are special people to us. God bless all of you all who have joined us. Uh, visitor uh, uh, Larry Crawford, good to see you all. Harold Collins, uh, God bless. Uh, Craig Hamilton, all of you all who have joined us. God bless you. And uh, we just pray God a blessing over everybody's families. You all, let's be safe. If you need to talk to me, please. Uh, let's do so. Call me. It, whatever you say to me is between us, me, you, and the Lord, okay? Uh, because some of us, we need a release valve. Some of us are about to explode, praise the Lord. So let us do what we can. Let's, let's not hurt each other with our words or physically. Uh, so let's, let's make sure that we stay focused uh, and let God work through us. If you need to get a little spare time, walk out in the backyard, do whatever you gotta do. Let's not, let's not, let's not, let's stay together and build it. We all we, we all we got. I know that's not grammatically correct. Alright? We all we have. I need some come on, say it out loud. I need you. I need you. I need you. I need you. Yeah, so we need each other. Let's support each other now. And um, I have a couple more prayer requests we're gonna get to. God bless each and every one of you. I know there are things that may be left still unsaid. But we'll get together again soon. Wednesday night we'll come for our Bible class. 
And if you need to catch me, please catch me every morning, manner in the morning, 7 a.m. God bless you. Let us pray. Father God, we come before your presence on the day. We love you. We ask for your blessings, your mercy, your guidance. Father, we know that even though we try to get everything just right on today, we know that you, you intercede for us. Help us to have a calm about ourselves, even as we walk through these days, knowing that even our best is not good enough. But the good news is that you step in and you help us. You, 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 you fill in the blanks. All we have to do is cast our cares upon you. Just throw them your way. Throw them your way. And you bless us. And Father God, we thank you for that. We ask a special blessing upon the noble, uh, noble Smith and her family. For the Harvey family, for the uh, Ratliff family, for the McCorkle family. For Carlos Ratliff, I see the name Carlos Ratliff. We ask a special blessing. Sister Hart, we ask a special blessing upon her as she ministers to so many. Chandra LaFleur, we ask that you bless her. Father, keep her. Bless all of us. Sister White, I hear her voice. Bless her on today. Yes, Father. Uh, the the, the, uh, the uh, Turner family, Father. We just ask a blessing upon all of us. Brother Cross in, her, in his senior years. The Horn family. Uh, Sister Shaw, we ask a blessing upon the Elliott family, Father. Bless all of our seniors. Sister McGee, Father. Bless all of our seniors in our church home. Sister Nettie Williams, bless all of them on today, Father. Keep them in the hollow of your hands. Help us to meet again. We thank God for technology because we are still able to go from house to house. So bless us as we leave this place. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, God bless you. It was an hour again, you all. God bless you. I'm going to be talking to some of you all separately and apart from this time. I hear the people on the phone already saying goodbye. And for those of y'all who are online, we will see you soon. God bless you. Amen. Till the next time.